Hi guys, Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Lucca, Italy, a beautiful walled city here in Tuscany in Italy. And what we're going to talk about today are the five things you're going to love and hate about visiting Lucca. Now the thing is, Lucca, a lot of people don't really come here. I mean, it's becoming more popular, but you know, a lot of, it's been on a lot of lists of these hidden Italy gems and stuff like that. And the thing is, the town here is amazing. I really love it. I've been here for four nights with my family, my mom, my dad, my kids, my wife, everybody. And we've had a really nice time. And I want to share with you guys what you should watch out for and what you're really going to enjoy from here. Okay, so the five things you're going to love and hate about Luca. Now, what are you going to love about coming to Luca? The first thing you're going to love about coming to Luca is the city walls. Guys, walking on the walls, I mean, literally, it's four kilometers or about three miles of walls. Like, and it is huge. You can, I mean, people ride bikes, people have picnics, you can run, people, the locals run on there, all kinds of stuff. The bikes are all over the place. It's crazy. And what's great is you have these amazing views of the town when you walk on the walls. And that's the first thing you're going to love out here because this the wall town it's not just one of these walls that has a little place you can walk on like two people across I mean you could have 15 people across no problem it's beautiful okay so that's the first thing you're going to love okay the second thing you're going to love about coming here is it's affordable. Now, if you're going to Florence, you know, you've tried to find apartments and hotels, you're like, oh my God, that's the price? You don't have that sticker shock pricing here in, in Luca. Restaurants are fairly priced, like I was talking about before and trying to find a place to eat. Okay, places to stay are fairly priced. You're not, you're not busting the bank to eat here, to stay here, these kind of things, which is really great. So you can use this as your base, 25 minutes to Pisa, your hour and a half down the crappy train, but if you don't have any luggage, who cares? To Florence, I mean, you've, like, there's a lot of places you can go from here and, and be fine, okay? So it's a really affordable place. Number three, when you come here to Luca, the food. The food is great here, and you have the typical Tuscan dishes here, but the, Lu the Lucchese, they have their own special twist on things, and if you get a chance to have some typical Lucchese cuisine, it is something very special. I love, my personal favorite is like, it looks like kind of like a pork beef mixture hamburger thing. Go to a ba or sorry, go to a butcher, and you'll see these things, it looks like a kind of a smashed big uh, meatball or hamburger kind of thing. You can eat them room temperature, they're great, but there's so many kind of local tiny dishes. They have a little bit of twist on Lucchese cuisine for the Tuscan cuisine. It is kind of a really cool thing to check out. The fourth thing you're going to love about coming to Luca is wandering the streets at night. Guys, because there's still a lot of people that just come here for day trips, so it's more packed during the day than at the night. Um, but when you walk around the town, you've seen uh, St. Michael's or San Michele or seeing the Cathedral San Martino I mean, you see it and the way they have it, I mean, the churches here I mean it's like I call the cathedral is more of a birthday cake and San Michele, St. Michael's is a wedding cake like how they have the outsides with uh, the amazing kind of um, steeples kind of thing and how they have the amazing facades on the outside it's just unbelievable okay and when you walk around at night and it's all lit up and the tourists are gone you really feel like wow i am in tuscany this is awesome and you'll really love that Number five, and the things you're going to love about coming to Luca is the atmosphere. Guys, I, I can't lie to you. You know, you go to Florence, you're just packed in with tourists. You're overrun, overcharged, not knowing where to go. You go to Pisa, you're overrun by tour groups and all kinds of stuff. Luca, you don't have that as much. You have much more of a laid-back, real Italy feel versus the Florence and Pisa where you're just overrun with tourists. And that atmosphere lets you enjoy the things. You get to go see the churches and enjoy them. You get to sit at the piazzas and and have a cafe and have a, some wine and take it in, take it all in. Because I mean, they have some amazing things to see here: the cathedral, the the San Michele Church, um, the amphitheater here, which is an amphitheater, a Roman amphitheater that's been torn down, but they actually built a piazza around it on the foundation, which is really cool. I mean, just the atmosphere is a great place. I mean, literally, if you're looking for a place in Tuscany to stay for a few days and just relax, drink some wine, and take in the Tuscan culture. This is the place you should go. The 
find things you love about coming to Luca? One, walking the city walls and taking in the views of the beautiful city. Number two, enjoying the affordability of Luca. Number three, the Lucchese cuisine and how they just have a slight twist on Tuscan and Italian cuisine. Number four is wandering the streets at night and taking in, again, San Michele with its wedding wedding cake top and just the, the walls and everything. Seeing the city at night is just beautiful. And number five, the atmosphere and the relaxation you can actually have when you're here in Luca. Now the first thing you're going to hate about Luca is actually getting to Luca because it's not on any of the main train lines. So you're going to come into Florence and then you're going to get on a regional train which will take you about an hour and 40 minutes. Um, if you have a big backpack or a big suitcase or whatever like that, there's no place for you to put it so you're kind of standing with it and it just does get kind of annoying. If you're going to come, come in the middle of the day so you don't have to worry about the rush hour traffic because believe me, lots of luggage, rush hour traffic on a regional train in Italy, not fun. So that's the first thing you're going to hate, taking the train into here. Okay, now if you're going to be in Pisa, you can take the 25 minute train in, it's not so bad. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to hate. Now, the second thing you're going to hate about coming to Luca is actually, it's one of those things you love later, but the first day is kind of annoying, is trying to find your bed and breakfast or your apartment or your hotel. The city, it's a walled city with all these winding lanes through the center of it, which is awesome. You, know, you walk it around at night, it's beautiful and all kinds of things. But when you're bringing your luggage or your backpack or whatever from the train station to your hotel, and there's no really any good maps of the town, well, it can be a bit annoying. Okay, so that's the second thing you're going to hate is trying to find your bed and breakfast that first night, okay? Because the windy roads do make it quite difficult. The third thing you're going to hate about coming here, and it's not so much a hate, it's just like a slight disappointment is you think it's going to be this hidden gem. Because everyone talks about, no, no one goes here, they go to Pisa, they go to Florence. Guys, we're not, Luca is not as hidden as you thought it would be, okay? There are tourists all over the place. We're here in early June, which is still low season, and it's packed. You're fighting around to get places. They're still waiting a little bit for food at some of the bars and some of the restaurants. So you do have still have a lot of tourists that come here. And the problem is, is when you have all these tourists here, of course, you have all the waits and all these kind of things. So it, it, you feel kind of bad because you're coming to Luca thinking it's going to be this hidden special place for you and your family when it's just another popular tourist town here in Italy. Okay, it's not really a bad thing because it deserves to be very popular, but, you know, you kind of think about it, it would be a little bit less popular. Number four in things you're going to hate about coming to Luca is, guys, Luca is the bike capital of Italy. I mean, people, you can ride around here and you can ride around on the walls in the town. You can rent bikes, ride through Tuscany, all kinds of great things, which is awesome. But the only problem is, is when you're walking around trying, trying to see things, the bikes are trying to kill you. So, you, what you're going to not like about it is watching out for the bikes as they fly by. Whether it's a lo The locals are pretty good at weaving, but the tourists aren't so lucky. So make sure you're watching back and forth. If you're going to like go over to see a shop, be careful because sometimes the bike will whiz by, okay? And the fifth thing you're going to hate about coming here, which is a good hate, is try to figure out where you're going to eat. Because though there are a lot more tourists here than there used to be, it still is relatively affordable. The people haven't become jaded by the tourist trade, so you still have good, you know, relatively affordable prices for food, whether it's in the center or on the outskirts or outside of town. The prices are pretty similar, and you're like, well, where should I eat? And you know what? You could eat your apartment, or you can actually eat on the city walls. Have a picnic with your family on the walls of the city. So it's going to be tough to decide where you're going to eat. So it's kind of a good hate, okay? So the five things you're going to hate about coming to Luca, and really, there's only one thing you're going to hate. The rest are like little annoyances that become something wonderful later. First thing you're going to hate is the train ride in from Florence. Guys, it's, it's, it's not pleasant. It takes an hour and 45 minutes, and it's just you know, stopping everywhere you go, trying to deal with your luggage, so that sucks. Okay, second thing you're not going to like, because that's just the hate. That is just slight annoyances, okay? The second thing is trying to find your bed and breakfast the first night of your apartment because of all the windy streets. Um, it does get kind of complicated. If you come at night, it, you might get a little scared, but don't worry, it's a very safe town. Okay. Number three of the things you're not going to like is Luca is not as hidden as you thought it was. There are a lot of tourists that come here, so you're not going to have your hidden Tuscan getaway like you would in some other smaller cities. Okay. Number four they're not going to is you know, trying not to get hit by the bikes, because again, this is the bike capital of Italy, it seems like, and when you're walking around, you're trying not to get nailed by a bike, so that's something you're not going to like. 
And number five, again, deciding where to eat because there's so many options here and the prices aren't gouged in the center or out of town. You're gonna be, you're gonna eat well. You could pick, picnic out here, all kinds of stuff. So it is kind of hard to decide. So it's kind of a lame number five, but hey, it, it's something there. So those are your five things you're gonna hate about coming to Luca, but it is a beautiful town, so I wouldn't really worry about it, okay? So, if you want to learn more about travel in Italy, or the top 10 sites to see in Luca, or other things in Italy, Europe, South America, North America, you want to learn a little Italian before you come here, we have it all on our website, www.waltersworld.com, and I hope you like and favorite this video, and hopefully you'll subscribe, and we'll see you from Luca. Oh, by the way, this place is so cool, that's the tourist office, possibly the coolest looking tourist office I have ever seen in my 13 years of traveling around the world. Ciao!